Hey everybody, Andrew here. There's an illness that's running rampant around the world at the moment and unfortunately I'm the carrier of this uh, particular, or rather I'm suffering from this particular illness. I have done for quite a while. And um, the only thing that seems to be able to get rid of it or to sort of alleviate the pain that is associated with this appalling affliction is when you receive something which just essentially makes all the symptoms go away. That disease is shinyitis and it is something which is pretty much only, it's unique to vaping and vapors around the world. People have it in different, some people don't suffer from it at all. Other people, you know, it's not that debilitating, but other people frankly are crippled by it. Uh, in my case, I am crippled by it and uh, it's, uh, it's a cross that I have to bear. But anyway, every now and again, something comes along to alleviate the pain and suffering. And today's one of those days. And here it is. It's the new V2 Loki tank from At Mama Honey. Obviously, it's just the top part here. And it is a thing of absolute beauty. It is a Carto tank. And in my case, this is a shined brass one to go with my shined brass um, nemesis. And as we can see here, you can probably see there's a serial number on the front. And then as we go around to the back, we can probably just about see the um, At Mama Hani logo on it. The tip on it, this doesn't come with it, but it's a brass tip. Uh, it's called a Mini Me, but it is from At Mama Hani as well. Uh, and I just put this one on just to sort of complete the whole brass look of it. And frankly, I just, I love this. I really, really love this. Now, I've always been a bit of a fan of Cartos anyway. Lots of people can't stand them. Um, but for me, you know, K-Funds and, you know, all of these other things that, uh, what have we got here? There's a spheroid sitting on a, a mini Nemi there, um, or a Nemi rather, or a mini Nemesis, depending on what uh, you want to call it. Uh, so there's all these other wonderful things that are out there. But I do like Cartos, and Cartos, they push back the flavour, there's no doubt about that, but just for pure simplicity. Now, I've done a video on Cartos and how to punch them and all of that, so if you're not familiar with Cartos, I'll, I'll put up the link and you can uh, have a look at it. But generally speaking, you know, they're simple, they work, they don't leak, and um, they're just dead, dead handy. So it's nice to have for something as simple as that, something as classy looking as that, to actually put it into. Now this uh, is the V2, and there are a couple of differences between this and the V1. Uh, first difference is that it's slightly smaller. Um, second uh, difference is that it's only got one hole at the top. I don't know whether you can see that there. I'll show it on the close-up anyway. This is the fill hole at the top. Um, other than that, it's, it looks pretty much the same. Um, the O-rings inside it are a higher quality O-ring than the previous ones. Uh, and it means it, it just sort of grabs onto the glass and everything, uh, you know, maybe that little bit better. Um, you get two tanks with it. This one and this one. This is the one that fits with the standard size Carto. Uh, it's glass in both cases, so you're not going to have any problems with any of the uh, liquids that tend to break down, um, you know, plastic tanks. And yeah, the engraving on it is a bit different from the previous one as well. Uh, but that is essentially what the differences are between the V1 and the V2. So, you know, it's nothing huge or seismic, but it's subtle improvements that are happening within it. Um, because I think basically people were so fond of the original design and the, the original look of the Loki tank There was no point in them actually doing anything more. All they wanted to do was just improve um, The tank so that it becomes even better than it was before Now I did ask uh, at Mama Hani uh, where the name Loki came from or Loki. I'm not quite sure how you say it I'll say Loki 
and apparently it's named after Michalis is uh, the main man in Atma Mahani and he's the you know basically comes up with the nemesis and you know the dome and the 3D and the new striker uh, dripping out atomizer that just came out there recently and the steam machine and various other bits and pieces um, but Loki this is named after his dog he had this dog in the past um, obviously a very much loved dog and uh, so he decided to name this after his dog so that's where the name comes from anyhow let's go down close have a look at it and uh, then we'll have a chat afterwards as to what I think about it. As with most stuff from At Mamahani, it comes in a little velvet bag. So um, here it is. So let's just open it up and see what the contents are. And we have a tube. Now when this actually arrived, this is glass. Uh, this was covered in a sort of a tissue paper to protect it. And then we also have this, the Loki tank itself. And we can see it there, the serial number on it. And then on the back, I'm not sure whether you can see that with the light here, but we've got the train, the Atmamakani train, or Atmamahani train. Uh, and then in the top we have this little plastic piece which actually fits into the top of a carto and it helps to basically thread the whole thing through which is uh, dead dead handy. So just uh, taking it apart and it's very simple. Uh, well let's go around it first. As you can see on the top there there is a hole. Now that hole is actually blocked off at the moment but as you turn it around see here a hole appears. So that's your fill hole but beside that is another hole and in the past there used to be a hole on both sides and that's essentially for, uh, so you fill it, one hole is for filling and the other one then relieves the pressure as you actually put the liquid into the, um, into the tank. So the way it used to be is you'd, you'd put the, the liquid in one side and then the pressure would release from the other side but what they found now is that because this is on threads and I'll show them to you now in a sec when you actually go to unscrew this to get to your fill point, what has happened is this has actually lifted off what it's threaded onto a little bit so that there's a gap, an air gap. So that that means then that when you put in liquid through there, coming out of this hole just beside it um, will be the pressure. Is So that's where the pressure release is actually happening. So it means that they don't need to have a hole on both sides it works perfectly well by doing it like that. So you can fill from that hole or you can fill from that hole, it doesn't matter. But the other hole will always be the pressure release for it. So that just means that on the top then it just, you know, you've got one hole which I think uh, certainly um, looks better and frankly you hardly even notice it. And then looking at the base there, this is stainless steel. Uh, and then on the top, uh, underneath this is stainless steel as well. So the brass, Nowhere is the brass actually in contact uh, with the liquid inside. Breaking it down into its uh, constituent elements, if we unscrew the top here. Brass, naval brass, that's the sort of cowling, if you like, that goes onto the top. Underneath you can see the gubbins here, which is essentially a uh, stainless steel disc, which has got two o-rings. These are a new kind of o-ring that they're using on these which makes them uh, stay more secure. So and then when we unscrew the bottom essentially we've got the same sort of thing going on down there. So we take that off again that is threaded on to these threads here. So that sits there and that's now the tank with the two ends. With the one with the two holes being the top and the one without being the bottom. So with the big tank here, all you're doing is you're taking these two off and putting them into here. So uh, let's uh, just take these off so I can show you what. Now you always have to be a bit careful with these. So there's one, and then the other one. Just give it a wee bit of a push there. And there's the other one there. 
and there's the tank. Now this tank here is designed to take a standard carto and this tank here which you get with it is designed to take the uh, take an XL carto. So that gives you the two options and both of those obviously come with it. So that's kind of it really if you could see them. That's what the all the elements are that you get and uh, and they work beautifully. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to put it back together. I'm going to use the smaller one because I'm going to put in a standard um, carto into it. So these rings here at the moment have had uh, liquid on them so they're okay but generally speaking when you're putting them on you're always better off just to uh, make sure that they're reasonably well lubricated so that they fit on properly. Now remember this is glass so you have to be careful because um, you know the last thing you want to do is uh, chip it or, or break it as you're actually putting the the ends onto it so easiest way is just have it flat and then make sure you push down flat on it and uh, it should go in properly like that there so there we go so remember two holes at the top that's where the one with the hole goes so that literally goes on like that and screws on and then obviously this goes on to the bottom here and that's it all nicely put back together again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a carto and um, we'll get the thing going. Right, I have um, pre-loaded uh, this carto. This is um, a low risk or an LR um, standard size carto here. I've put in, um, what's it called, Seville Marmalade from Mrs. Lord. And so what I'll do is I'll put this into here. now. It, this also comes with this little uh, tool, this little plastic piece, and it's worthwhile actually using this because the o-ring, certainly at the top here on my one, is really quite tight, and if you just go and push the carto up through it, you could end up damaging the o-ring. So you're much better off, put this on like this, looks like a little bullet or something, and then basically push it in. And by the way, I don't know whether I mentioned, I've pre-punched this, so I've got uh, different people do it different ways. I've just put in two, two holes here, uh, and that's what the liquid will actually feed through. And then basically just push it up through, like this, and that little tool, that little plastic plug helps it come through cleanly. And then essentially you just want to sort of have it a bit about level at the bottom there. And then you can take the little plastic tool out, and everything is in good shape. Now that that's in place, you can actually see that the little holes are just at the base. Um, I could have actually uh, made them a little bit higher than that, but uh, they'll still feed fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put up a link, rather than showing you how to sort of punch a card, so most of you would know how to do that anyway. Um, I'll put a link up and uh, you can have a, a look to see, if you don't know how to do it, how to do it. So, Right, all we need to do now is just fill this. So I have a syringe with some liquid in, and as I mentioned before, to fill it, all you need to do is basically just turn this around there. So I'll turn it to the second hole there, and then what we can do is um, basically pop the syringe in. Now that should do it. And then we simply just tighten this back up to close the hole off and we're good to go. Now what I didn't mention to you as well about this little, uh, well, I'm not sure what they call them, a carto tool or something like that, uh, this little plastic um, thing that you get with it, is that you have your tank, it's all nice and full, the carto comes to the end of its life, so uh, you want to change the carto out. So, that's where this little thing also comes in handy. So what you do is you get your other punch carter that you have ready, put that on the top of it, and then basically from the bottom, what you do is you push the other one through. So let's just push it through here like this. And then as that goes in, the new carto pushes in at the bottom. And as you push it through, it pushes the old carto out. And obviously, because you've got a lid on this, it's not flooding the second carto. So what you can then do is basically push that through like that. 
and then continue on through with this. Let's just get it so we haven't got too much liquid on the top of it. And you basically push that one on up like that through so it is in place. And then all you need to do is just a little bit of a wipe off at the top there and then simply pull the plug out here and that's it, you're ready to go. And you haven't lost any of the liquid that uh, was in the tank in the first place. So then you can just pop your drip tip back in again and you're ready to go. So here it is all back together looking rather beautiful, all filled up with um, Seville marmalade from Mrs. Lord's. Um, and what do I think of it? As a Carto tank, I think it's great. It does everything that a Carto tank is meant to do. I like the fact that it comes with the two sides of tanks, so the smaller one, which is this one here, and the larger one here, which is for the large uh, Cartos. But also, you'd be using that if you have a Sophia, because the Sophia, size-wise, matches the larger tank. I like the fact that it uh, has got the fill hole on the top, um, so it means that you know you can refill it without having to take the Carto out. I like the fact that it comes with the little Carto tools, so which means that you can change your Carto while you've still got a f full tank. I think that's great as well. Um, most particularly, I like the looks of it. Um, I like the simplicity of the shape. Uh, I like the fact that you know it's so easy. You, you have your top cap, your bottom cap, and then you've got these bits which actually screw onto it. Um, to give it, you know, to make it match with whatever it is that you're actually using. And obviously this doesn't have to be used with an emesis, it can be used with anything else. The fact that there are four different finishes, so you've got stainless steel polished, stainless steel matte, uh, brass polished and brass matte. Uh, this being the brass polished, obviously, as well. Uh, cost of this is €45. Euro. Um, I think, you know, price-wise, 45 euro to me that sounds very reasonable you know when you look at it it's very very well made it's um you know the steel the stainless steel bits that are at the end of it here look really good um you know the threading's very good on it the tops go on really easily uh certainly the o-rings in it seem to be very good very high quality o-rings so all in all you know i think it's it's a great little package And, yeah, it, 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 how does it perform? It performs like any other um, Carto tank. Um, the, uh, it's all down to the Carto that's in it and obviously the liquid you have in it as well. But um, that's it. I can't really say anything more other than the fact that um, I think it's a great buy. I'm absolutely delighted with it. I think it's, you know, for me, it's the perfect match on, on my Brass Nemesis. Uh, I'd like to thank... Um, Katerina and Michalis in Atma Mahani for uh, sending it to me uh, free for review. Uh, it's very kind of them. Um, obviously, my opinion of this is, is my own opinion. It's nothing to do with getting it for free. Um, I just like it as a Carto tank. I think it works really, really well. And um, so thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers.